In today's video, I'll be showing you how to properly set the bitrate on your security cameras. I'm using a Uniview NVR to demonstrate these concepts, but you can apply these concepts to any NVR brand. The results will be the same. Video compression should always be set to H.265 if your NVR and camera support it. The H.265 video codec saves 50% of the bandwidth compared to H.264 while keeping the image quality the same. The bitrate type should be set to VBR, which stands for Variable Bitrate Encoding. VBR allows your security camera to intelligently adjust the bitrate depending on how much motion is present in the scene. This results in the same image quality with less space being taken up on the hard drive. You can also adjust the image quality slider. When set below 5, it results in smaller file sizes but worse image quality. When set above 5, the image quality improves but the file size will also increase. I usually leave this on the default setting of 5, but occasionally I'll increase it to 7 for a slightly sharper image. The bitrate setting is very important. This is the target bitrate which affects how much data the camera will use. If you set this too low, the image will look blocky and pixelated. Setting this too high results in a waste of space without any noticeable difference in video quality. I'll usually set this between 4000 and 8000, depending on the resolution of the camera and the amount of detail in the scene. Leaving the bitrate on default settings is also fine. You can increase it slightly to improve the image quality of your camera. I have mine set to 5120 kilobits per second, which offers a good balance between image quality and file size on a 4 megapixel camera. Next, we have the frame rate of the camera. A higher frame rate results in smoother motion during live view and playback and generally looks more pleasing to the eye. For cameras that you view frequently, you'll want to set a frame rate between at least 15 or 20 FPS. If you want to save hard drive space, you can lower the frame rate down to 6 or 8 FPS. The iframe interval is the number of frames between two iframes. An iframe is basically a snapshot the camera takes every few seconds to see how the video is changing from frame to frame. This should be set to a multiple of your frame rate. The default is 2 times your frame rate. You can also set the iframe interval to the same as your frame rate, which results in slightly smoother video, but also increases the amount of data being used. The smoothing setting affects how quickly your camera changes between high and low bit rates. Increasing smoothing results in a slower change in bit rate, which may cause some details to be missed. I recommend leaving this on the default. Lastly, we have the U-Code setting which may also be called H.265+, Smart Codec, Zipstream, Wisestream, or a variety of different names depending on your system. This is an extra layer of compression designed by the camera manufacturer to save hard drive space. You can turn this on if you want to save your video for a longer length of time, or disable it for the best image quality. Here's a quick comparison with U-Code set to Basic Mode and Advanced Mode. On Basic Mode, we save 62% storage space compared to with U-Code off. However, the image starts to look muddy, especially the road. With advanced U-Code, we only save 50% storage space, but the image looks a lot better than with basic U-Code. Setting the bitrate properly means choosing between higher image quality and longer storage times. There is no one optimal setting, only the setting that works best for your needs. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Be sure to subscribe for more useful security camera tutorials. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.